Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Daz Reacts, and today I have a Samantha Harvey reaction video for you. And if you've watched more of my videos, you'll know that I uh, a few years ago I reacted. I would not reacted to. Sorry, I, I used to watch a lot of cover artists on YouTube, and for the artists that I've been doing so far, are not ones that I have. Samantha Harvey is one that. I used to listen to on YouTube and I've seen her do a few covers and I think it was the uh, Lady Gaga song I'll Never Love Again that brought me to her channel a few years ago. Maybe, maybe not. I'm, I really can't be sure. But when when I wanted to react to a new artist that I haven't done on the channel yet and her name come up, I thought, yeah, because I used to watch it. And then I see that she done this song and I have not seen her sing this song. And I won't lie, this is one of my favourite songs of all time. Anytime this song comes on, like if I'm in the car and my daughter's in the car and this song comes on, I will say to her, like, shush, let me listen to this song. And, <coughs> yeah, it's just a song that, like, it's just the song itself. One sec. I'll mute that cough. <laughs> yeah, so, like, it, it's just that like the song itself that it has no like other meaning behind the song like my dad's still alive and like so there's there's no meaning to it there for me but it is just the case that this song luther vandross is just for me what one of the greatest it really is so i'm looking forward to listening to her sing it and i know what to expect from samantha because i have watched samantha harvey before on youtube so i do know what to expect from her and I already know that she's a good singer, so I'm already expecting high things from her in this. So rather than me saying expecting more, we're just going to press play. So let's do this. Back when I was a child Before life removed all the in Father would lift me high. Sorry. When she, when she first started playing this, like her hands were moving, it as if, as if like she was playing the keyboard herself. But obviously the camera don't see it, so I'm thinking, oh, okay, so she's playing the keyboard and she's singing and all of a sudden, like her hands come. I was like, how's she doing that? That's why I started smiling. I'm sorry. <laughs> and dance with my mother and me. And I knew for sure I was in love If I could get another chance Another walk, another dance with him I'd play a song that would never ever end How I'd love, love, love To dance with my father Do you know what? Honestly, that's the, for me. That's the hardest thing that, like, like the idea. Like, both of my parents are still alive and like still going strong. But like the idea, everyone has to come with that realize, come to that realization that like at some point, like the ones that you hold nearest and dearest to you are probably gonna pass on, like before you. And that's the thing. I don't know how. I'm I'm not a very emotional person in the sense that like I don't get upset a lot i don't cry at all like i'm not a crier but uh, listening to songs like these that's what it does to me that like there's been times when i've listened to this song and, it, and it's choked me up to the sense that like you get to thinking that like with my dad my dad is like he's yeah he's my dad but i've worked with him when i left school and like he took the piss basically and things like that but we've always been very close it's it's been more like a friendship than like a fa father son relationship but it's worked and we are very close and he is like my best friend and like the idea that like if anything was to happen to it i have no idea how i would cope with that and it'd probably be the case that like listening to songs like these would probably have me breaking down to be fair that like but my mum and my dad like my mum does like like I'm very close to my mum as well. And I'm a lot like my mum in a lot of ways, like with my attitude and my mentality and things like that. And like, yeah, me and my mum are close. I have no idea when that day comes, like for either of them, like how I'm going to overcome that. And then I think that's what this song does for me as well, that like it, it makes me think ahead. And I think that's why it chokes me up. But 
I listen to it and I think like me and my dad have never danced a day in our lives. Like he'd never leave money under my pillow because he's a tight git. But yeah, it'll be these songs that that probably will get to me at that point. And yeah, when that time comes that you never know when it's going to come that it is the case that I don't know how I'm going to cope. And then you have to think as well, like I've got my own kids and as they get older, they may think of like that the future and when that time comes as well that no one ever wants to think about it but it is a hard thing i i i, I really don't know how i'm going to cope with it when that time comes but yeah that's what this song does it gets me thinking along them lines sorry if i put you on a day in a bar <laughs> yeah that's what it does <clears throat> when i and my mother would disagree to get my way i would run from her to him He made me laugh just to comfort me Then finally made me do just what my mama said Later that night when I was asleep He left a dollar under my sheet Never dreamed that he would be gone from me I could steal one final glance, one final step, one final dance with him. I'd play a song that would never ever end. How I'd love, love, love to dance with my father. I'm not gonna lie, this song's <laughs> this song's actually getting me a bit choked up. That you, if you've seen my videos before, you'll know I've said it before. I'm not a crier. I don't cry. The only time you will ever see me cry is at a funeral. That oh, if some not at the funeral, but like if someone dies. Other than that, I don't cry at all. I will get a massive lump in my throat as if I've like swallowed a golf ball, but I, I don't cry. But this this is actually like giving me a lump in the throat to the point where it is an emotional song and it is a song that every time I listen to it gets me thinking. But yeah, she's she's singing this really well. Like all credit to her as well. She is singing this really really well. I I don't think I've ever heard a woman sing this song. I've heard a couple of like male covers, but I don't think I've ever heard a woman sing this song. Sometimes I listen outside her door. I'd hear how my mom would cry for him. I'd pray for her even more than me. I'd pray for her even more than me Oh, no I know I'm praying for much too much Could you send back the only Like, honestly, it is the case that, like, usually, like, it's just the, the, the person singing that will get me mesmerised, but this is the person singing and the song itself. This song will always do it. But, yeah, it's just that, like, <clears throat> it has actually, like, it's got me choked up. And I am one of these. If I start to get choked up, you'll probably see me smiling and laughing more because I try to, like, in my brain, I try to, like, override it. It's like, come on, get over it. Like, nope, <laughs> it's not going to happen. But, yeah, so... Like, that is just how my brain works. Apparently, my Fitbit's just told me that I've done 250 steps this hour, which is a load of crap. Because <laughs> I haven't moved from this chair, so I think I need a new one. But yeah, no, nah, this honestly, this did get me choked up. And it always will do. And like I said, I interrupted halfway through the song to give you, like, my idea of when I listen to this song and how it makes me think and things like that. And it is true, and that's what it does to me. And, like... When that day find if and when that day finally does come, it is gonna be the case that this is probably gonna be the one song that's probably gonna make me break down the most. But yeah. I don't know. I really enjoyed it though. Like I said, I already knew what to expect from Samantha Harvey. 
character. I have listened to her before, but I've never listened to her sing this song. So, oh, sorry. So yeah, that I am. I am looking forward to seeing more of her. That a few of her songs I have done. So the ones that I have done, I won't put on the channel because I've already reacted to them. I only like to react to things that I've never seen before. I don't see the point in me reacting to things that I've seen because I'm just going to be sitting there like. Already seen it, already seen it. So anything that you see me watch on this channel is completely brand new to these eyes. These eyes have never ever seen it. So yeah, that I've done a couple where like it's been requested and I've put it on and I've seen it and I'm like, nope, seen it. So I'll go back to that comment and say, sorry, already seen it, won't react to it again because I've already seen it. I don't see the point in like me reacting to something that I've seen. So yeah, basically that's how it is. So yeah, there's probably gonna be a lot of Samantha Harvey that I haven't seen, so expect to see that, but there is going to be some that I have seen. And if you do request it and I have already seen it, I will let you know. But yeah, guys, listen, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope my talking through it didn't annoy the crap out of you. Until the next time, if, if, if there is anything, let me know in the comments down below. Until the next time, take it easy. I will see you in the next one.